Grand Forks Air Force Base. We're in Bay 1, an aircraft 860-122. And this video is going to show a problem with the main landing gear airborne proximity sensor, harness wiring, and what I'm going to show you is as the airplane becomes airborne, we have a problem with the proximity switch harness being uh, pushed back by the wind. So you can see it it actually pushes back, bending the wires, and beating up against the back side of the scissor brace. And after a while it fatigues, it breaks, and it causes a non-airborne condition of the sensing in the gear, which causes many landing gear problems and other associated problems with the equipment. Okay. What we have done is we've uh, we got a proposal to rewire the landing gear system on this harness, and instead of going across that in, in the air there, we're going to come right up on the harness. We're going to go up, so you can follow it around, and we're going behind that brace, down through, and hooking onto the clamps. As shown, and as you can see, we got it routed where we have the tape, right where his fingers at, right there. Okay, we want to put a clamp right there, drill a hole and put a clamp, and then we, and then as it goes down behind the gear, there'll be another clamp behind there to prevent chafing, and then the wire bundle will come back and, and use that existing clamp that's right sitting right there and basically what this does is it's going to keep the, the entire harness out of the wind stream and prevent it from moving around and chafing okay now the, re the reason that we've uh, taped it on there right now is because we're going to uh, right now the, the aircraft is on the ground and we're going to put it on jacks and we're going to see if there's any and when the movement of the gear as it goes airborne, we're going to see if there's going to be any tension on the on the new harness routing as we have it. Then we're going to be retracting the gear, and when the gear comes back down, we're going to come back out and look at it and see if uh, our our new proposal is the harness has changed positions at all. Uh, we believe it won't because all the places that we're going to put clamps or have it taped is stationary and there is no movement. The movement, the actual movement in the harness between the, the back scissors and the, and the gear is right in this area right here. And at that point, the, the new harness is going to be clamped or tied right off onto the existing harnesses. And we have no problems in this area right now. The only problem exists is right, right in this area. Where we're at right now is we're getting ready to jack the aircraft. The, air, the gear right now is on the ground. We're, we're in the ground mode. They're getting ready to bring the gear up off the ground. And what we're going to do here is we are going to watch the strut extend and the movement of the gear to ensure that the proximity sensor or, or wiring does not get um, pulled or tagged.
strut's still extending. The wheels are still on the ground now. And the strut gets fully extended. And we break. Everywhere where the new harness is going is a fixed area and there's no movement. Okay, the strut is almost completely extended and the wheels are getting ready to break ground. Nothing on our harness has moved yet. Extended. And nothing on our, our harness has moved at all. The only portion that's moved is right here. Up in these areas, up in the top, where it's uh, secured right to the, the strut itself. None of that's moved, it's all stationary. front of the strut here, you can see that uh, the way they have the harness routed now, it's right out in the windscreen. And the way we have it routed, it's basically hidden. Using this right here as a, as a, basically as a windshield of this bracket. Now that we're in the gear airborne position, the scissors has changed a little bit. And you can see that the wind is going to blow this right up in this area right here. You can actually see on the, on the scissors where it has been chafing. Uh, this harness looks good on here it's because we just, we just changed it. This is a, a brand new harness on there. But it's not going to take but too many flights before we'll actually start seeing uh, the harness breaking down because of the wind. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is retract the gear. Good to go. We're going to run it through two or three times, and then we'll come back after the gear is down and locked. We'll come back in here, and we will uh, look at the, the way that our harness is routed and see if uh, we have any movement at all. And we've inspected our proposed harness change, and we 
have no movement of the harness whatsoever, no tension on the tape, no movement. Everything is exactly where it was before the gear was retracted. So with the addition of some clamps in there instead of tape, that, that will definitely uh, definitely work and keep the harness out of the, out of the wind. And it looks really, really good. What do you think, Bob? <laughs> Not much. What do you think?